Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a haul video, but first order of business, my hair. I got a professional haircut. I've been cutting my own hair, trying to give myself a hairstyle, layers, cutting my own bangs, and it was time. My hair was just in a really bad state. Uh, and I just needed a good haircut and I chopped a lot of it off because um, I just want to kind of start fresh and I also wanted some sort of style with it and I really like the way it came out. I actually went to these people, if you've been following me for a while you know I did Locks of Love a few years ago and I went to the same place to get my hair cut. I think that's the last, is that the last time I cut my hair? It's been a long, long time since I've professionally cut my hair, and I think I'm going to go back to them every few months just to get a trim, and let me turn around so you guys can see it. Pretty short, but that's what I wanted, and I love that the front is a little bit longer, and I think I'm going to have fun styling, styling this, and yeah, I hope you guys like it. And the other thing I wanted to mention was... No Tuesday video because I didn't have my phone. I broke it yet again and I wised up finally after breaking my phone so many times. I got insurance and I got a replacement phone. The same exact phone but I got my phone replaced and I'm so happy it worked out. But I didn't have my phone for four days which is translates to forever in my world, my world because I'm always on my phone which is kind of a bad thing and I... Um, Missed having my phone, but I realized that I don't need to be on it all the time. Anyway, I am not sure if I'm going to continue to do Tuesday videos. I might if I have something I want to put out there, but I just I think I'm going to just continue right now with Friday videos. So we're going to start off with a haul, and the first thing I want to share with you is my parents. They go to Florida a lot, and well, they have a house there, so. Uh, they come back and they always bring back something which they don't have to do. It's really sweet. And they brought me back this, it's called the Cement Sitting Box. And I believe it's for your garden, but I'm going to keep it in my room. You might see it. I don't, I'm not, I'm still not sure where to put it, but I think this is so cute. I love the tail and do they know me or what? Love the fox. And then the other thing they brought back is they did a road trip down to, uh, Florida and one of the places they stopped at was Graceland and they brought back this t-shirt which I think is fantastic I love it I'm kind of glad they did not get me something with Elvis's face on it no offense to Elvis fans uh, but I just I really like this kind of t-shirt and I think it's really cool so they did a good job on that and then let's continue on with clothes <laughs> I was watching Miss Miss Crystal makeup and she was doing clothes it was one of her clothing hauls and she had mentioned an old navy high neck tank top and that is something that I've been looking for for a very long time I'm actually wearing one of them now so you can see how high they come up and I just think the fit on this sorry you probably need to wear a racer back kind of bra um, but I just want to show you I think the fit on this is so flattering and it's not tight or anything, so I love it. So I got it in black, of course, and then I want to show you the other colors. And I got five of them for $34. I thought it was a really good deal. So let me just show you this way. So I got this kind of salmon color, heather gray, white, and this, uh, I want to say plum color. So these are fantastic, and I would have gotten all of them, but some of the colors, they did not have my size. Okay, continuing on, and I'm trying, I don't have enough hangers, so some of these clothes are going to be hot hangers and some of them are not, um, but I just thought that it would be easier to see. And these pants are for Maison Jewels, and take a look at the top part here. It's so cute, I love that they add a little bit of something. These are called, I believe, the new pant, and they are so comfortable. I was, I even went back a few times. Uh, to Macy's and try to find different colors but they really only have this one in the blue and you know for summertime you wouldn't think wearing trousers or slacks but these are very breathable and they look flattering on so that's going to be kind of like the key word in this video flattering I just these pants are fantastic and they do they are a skinny leg but they're not tight or anything but they do go down no they do go inwards when you go down okay uh, next is this jacket from, uh-oh, lost a pair of shoes I was going to show you, a pair of slippers. 
this is a jacket from Bar 3 and I love it. It's kind of, it's a trench coat, but it's a, it's not that material of trench. It's, um, it's a cloth and it is so cool on the way that it falls. It has a belt. This draping here, very, very flattering. So if you see it, I've had my eye on this for a while and I just didn't pull the trigger or get it, but I saw it again. I'm like, you know what? Let me get it while it's still there because... Macy's clearing section, what you see one day, you're not going to see the next day. So, another thing for me about jewels is this white dress. And I never thought I would buy a white dress, but the cut of this is really nice. And I just thought that it was beautiful. It's simple. Did I say it was made on jewels? Um, and the waistline right here, and the neckline, and let me just show you the bottom just a really pretty white dress so I got that and then I think there's something from JCPenney here this top which is so cute I've been loving things with just a simple uh, print on there it says love fades pizzas forever and I thought that was really 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 cute and then my kimono obsession continues. I'm wearing kimono right now. I showed you guys this in a previous haul. Uh, this is Liz Claiborne, and I love the uh, the print, and I like the color. The print is kind of wild, but since it's black and white, I don't think it's that bad. Or I mean, I like it. So this is a short sleeve kimono, and I like that it's shorter. Uh, most of the kimonos I have are pretty long, so that one it's nice that that one's short. And then this is a long kimono. This is by Mix It, and I love, I think this is the, my favorite print so far of the kimonos I have. I think this is gorgeous. The blue and the white, and then at the bottom is polka dots. I just, I absolutely love this. And it does get go pretty long in the front, but I just think it's beautiful. Okay, uh, Uniqlo had gotten, oh, let me try to get that. I have... I have the clothing hanger here, and it's just a little bit complicated to get to. Uh, so I have shown you these pants before. I I don't buy a lot of things at Uniqlo, but what I do like, I buy multiples of different colors, and these are one of my favorite pants. They're kind of like the harem pants, but not so big in the crotch. So these are the ones in blue, uh, black, and then I just got this print for fun but these are just so great and Uniqlo they used to have a policy where if you open these kinds of I think if you this and things in plastic if you wore them you couldn't return it but now they changed their policy on that but I know my size and I love those pants they're fantastic especially for the summertime and then jewelry I got this is my sister made me this necklace and it's just so cute. It's a leaf and a bow, and it's really simple. And I think it will. I should have worn it. Today. I was at Jersey Gardens the other day, and I think they're calling it something else now. Instead of Jersey Garden Outlets, it's the Mills. Uh, but anyway, I was at the Adidas store, and I got these slippers, which I think are so cute. I love that there's a little bit of pink in here, and they are so comfortable. I had a pair of Adidas slippers a while back, and I wore those out that this part came off and they just melded to my feet and they were comfortable so I decided to get another pair of Adidas and they are comfortable as well and I needed house slippers. I've been wearing my old navy flip flops around the house and I just wanted something that was a little bit more comfortable. Okay some more clothes. Uh, Macy's has some really cute t-shirts so this is one of them. It says, it says I I work out just kidding I take naps which I thought was so funny so um, I got that and then the other t-shirt that they had was which I've seen this phrase before but I think it's really really cute uh, this says give a girl the right pair of shoes and she will conquer the world and I like that there's a pair of sneakers on there instead of a pair of high heels uh, and then the last thing I'll show you was this t-shirt. Again, Maison Jewels. They have the cutest prints. And I think this is a new item. It's just a uh, heart and lock and key. And what girl doesn't like that? So, um, and it's polka dot and it's pink and it's cream. Really, really cute on. So that is 
the clothes and let's move on to the makeup. Stuff. I was at Walgreens and I got these because they were on clearance. These are by Dove and they're the cookies and cream. Oh my goodness, these are so good. They're really addicting. So I just had the one and that's it. And I they're wrapped individually, which is nice. And it has a little phrase on the inside. This one says it's okay to be fabulous and flawed. And I thought that was really, really cute. So um, I like those and I would highly recommend it if you see them. And then another thing I got at Walgreens is I did get a, hair, a new hair cut. I thought I would try a new shampoo and conditioner. And I've been wanting to try this brand for a really long time. So I got the Argan Oil uh, Morocco conditioner, shampoo and conditioner. And it's the renewing one. And that's what is that? OGX Organics. So I got that, and then at Bed Bath, I picked up another Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with sunscreen for sensitive skin, and I have been using a bunch of Asian face products, but this one I have to say is probably one of my favorites. I really like this, and I didn't get the one that was the super big size because I always want to change up my daily moisturizer and try something new, but it's this size here. It's the 4.4 ounces and I love this one this one is really good so I would recommend that if you're looking for a face moisturizer that is moisturizing but not greasy and then for this I got a while ago at Wegmans I've always wanted to try macadamia products so this is the macadamia healing oil spray and I have been loving using hair oils on my hair which is something I never thought I would say because I have really oily hair and I thought putting oil with oil would be bad but I've been really liking how soft it makes my hair and I want to try this brand and everyone talks about the hair mask but I'm not ready to plunge into that price point yet and then before we get to the actual makeup makeup, I also got this brush from eBay and it's a contour brush. Uh, you could use, I've used this a few times and when you order from eBay and it's coming from China, sometimes the, it's, it doesn't work out. The, I, I do like this brush, but the handle is already breaking off. It was over, almost breaking off when it came, but I do like this brush and I think I would invest in, uh, a better a better brush from here <laughs> did that make any sense at all but you could use it this way you could turn it or you could go full on and I do like this brush and um, I know that elf has come out with one I believe that sorry I've got my hair cut and I didn't take a shower yet uh, so there's I feel like there's hair all over me uh, a few other brands I know make this type of brush and I would definitely think about getting it is what I'm trying to say okay now let's start with eyeshadow uh, Bed Bath has a clearance section that, that's probably the first place I go to when I go to a store is a clearance and sales section and they had more of the total intensity eyeshadows by prestige which these are fantastic if you could still get your hands on them at Bed Bath I would say go for it because they are beautiful so this color is Addiction, and a lot. These are very metallic looking. If you like that foil metallic look, oh, these are just so pretty. So that is Addiction, and then we have, or I have, uh, Bewitch, which is probably my favorite. This one is pop. This one is the most dual chrome looking out of all of them. little bit of fallout but I just think that one is gorgeous can you imagine that all over the eye I think that would be very pretty and then this one is hypnotized which it's it's if I could get it open ow I just ooh, my hand got stuck in there so that's hypnotized so pretty so really really nice eyeshadows and I wonder why Bed Bath is getting rid of them I don't know uh, then another eyeshadow is this one by Stila and I have one of these I wasn't too impressed with it but something about this one just called out to me it's the magnificent metal eyes and this one is Comax Platinum and oh my goodness this is crazy this eyeshadow look at this 
and I put it on a, I, I, I did an eye look with it, and this is so beautiful. That's how it looks on your eye. It's amazing, and if you see it at J. Crew, which is where I got this, I will get it. It's if you like that sort of like really like whoa, that is it. And then uh, oh, this mascara I've been dying to try. I've heard so many great things about it, and I love CoverGirl, so uh, CoverGirl mascara. So I got the Super Sizer waterproof. I learned from my past mistakes. I need waterproof. Um, and I'm excited to try this, although it has to wait for, I'm trying to finish up the Jordana Best, what is it called? Jordana Best Slash, Best Slash Extreme. I'm finishing that up, and I have, I think, three or four other mascaras open, and that's really good for me. I used to have, I think, 10 plus open at one point, so I've been doing a really good job. I'm excited to try that. And then I got a few new lipsticks. I got three more of the Maybelline Color Blur. I love these. They are so, they feel so amazing on the lips. It's incredible how creamy they are, how easy they apply. And they do last a long time on the lips. So I got two of the red ones. This is Partner in Crimson. Okay. Ugh, they just apply so nicely. So this is going to be the darker red. And then the more tomato-y red. This one is Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. So that's Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. And then the last one, which I am on a mission to get all of them, is Very Misbehaved. I think I have half the collection now. So that one is gorgeous it's a, just like a hot pink although it's looking more red I'm sorry but it's a hot pink it's gorgeous gorgeous and they all apply so creamy and buttery and if you haven't tried it I would definitely try one and the very of them last product I'm going to share with you is the L'Oreal Lilac lip product and this one is in 201 Lackey Charm and this one is just an everyday beautiful color I've worn this once and I wasn't too in love with the formula like my lips stuck together even though it's the shiny formula and that's the tip right there I got my sister the La Matte one and she loved it so if you're if you're deciding between the two she liked the matte one better lasted longer and usually mattes do but um, I'm gonna have to work with it because I did not love it so that's the end of my haul video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna try to be better about answering back to comments on a more timely fashion I what I like to do is in one setting like once a month answer all the comments and that's not fair to people who want a response right away and I will try to be better about that and like I said, I'm probably going to only do Friday videos, so request what videos you would like to see from me. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic summer. I will talk to you soon. Bye!